Welcome to Revamp Solutions Summer Reader Session. Today we're going to talk about defining group and family registration and how to set them up. Let's first talk about group registration. The definition for group registration is group registration allows a single entity to sign up for a summer reading program. Well, what does that mean? To better understand, let's start from the patron view and we're going to go in and select sign me up. So now I'm going to do a registration for group and not an individual. See where it says click here to do a group registration? I'm just simply going to click. The registration page changes to the fields that would be required for a group registration. Here I have group name instead of putting in an individual's name. I'm going to type in Sabrina's Preschool and I'm going to be the teacher of Sabrina's Preschool and I'm going to say that we have a reading time every week and I have 15 participants. Now as you can see I'm not putting in each individual participant. I'm putting them in as a group. Now I'm going to set up a username as well as a password. Then I would complete the rest of the registration as required by the library. Now some of these questions may not make sense for group registration because I didn't make any modifications on my staff side to this page. In just a few moments we'll go into how to set this page up to be more specific for your group registrants. Once I'm done registering as a group I'm going to go ahead and select save. Once I do so, it's going to come up and let me know what my username and password is where I can select OK. Now managing a summer reader program as a group is the exact same as being an individual. I still have the same options of looking at my hot links, looking at patron reviews, hot messages, but I also have my activity center. And in the activity center, I can come over here and add view log. Now I could come in and place a log with the same logging restrictions as whatever your library has set up, put in the title of my books, my authors, my ISBN information, as well as the detail of the book or the review of the book. Once I'm done completing my log, I would just simply select Save. And it lets me know that now my group is eligible for a prize. So managing a summer reader program as a group as far as the teacher side is pretty simple. She just accounted for the 15 students in her class. She just submitted that they read Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss on 3-25-2011. Once she's done, she could go back and manage the system just as an individual patron, even though it's all set up as a group name. If I look up here at the top, it says Sabrina's Preschool. So this is her one location where she's going to go in and create logs for the group registration. Like I said before, this is not individual registration. She did not register each individual student in her class. Let's go take a look and see how this affects the staff side. Going over to my staff side, I'm going to sign in as a staff member and I'm going to take a look at the program that Sabrina's Preschool just signed up for. I'm going to select D to the fourth power five which is the program that I just signed up for and I'm just going to select go because I don't have that many patrons in this program as you can see I only have one it's easy just to find that one in this program otherwise I would have used the simple search over to the left hand side of my screen. From here, I can still manage this program, manage this patron, just like I do if it was an individual sign-up. As you can see, when I'm looking at this patron information, it's showing me the group name, birth date, school name, so on and so forth, just as if I was looking at an individual. The key thing that you want to be aware of is when you are issuing prizes, so as you can see, Sabrina's Preschool is eligible for a prize. When I go in, it unfortunately doesn't account for that she has 15 students. It's only accounting for three cookies for prize level one, three pens for prize level two. Well, that's what an individual would really get.
But if I come over here and I look at her patron information, I will see that she has 15 participants. So I want to make sure that I'm taking, so I would want to take 3 times 15 equals 45, give the preschool 45 cookies to hand out to each one of the individuals in that program. I would do the same with the pens. So it is a little different from the staff perspective because when it is a group registration, they're going to just want to take whatever the quantity prize eligibility it is and times it times the number of participants in the class. So that's managing from the staff side. How do I set up group registration? If I come over here to system maintenance and I select add program, down in the registration settings, I have an option to set individual registration, group registration, or both. By selecting both, you're able to select whether you're an individual or a group, just like we had done in my example. The other place that you have the option of setting up registration for a group is under system maintenance, and I'm going to edit one of my programs, d to the fourth power 5, and I'm going to go under Registration Setup. In Registration Setup, there is a specific tab for Group. Now you know that you're able to select the fields by enabling, requiring, set them as a list, set them for searching and changing the order, just as if you were setting up the individual. But now you want to set the fields that are going to make the most sense for group registration. For instance, you're probably not going to ask for the teacher's birthday or the age of the teacher. Maybe the Maybe you want to know the overall age of the group. Maybe you would have a custom question that you would want to ask specifically for just your group participants. You're able to do that setting up the custom field and selecting the enable. So your screen could essentially be different in group registration than it is in the individual registration. Group registration is extremely simple to monitor. So once you're all set up, obviously the patron has access to set up group registration on their own, and you're able to track them in the Summer Reader staff homepage. Now let's talk about family registration. Again, let's go over to the patron side and take a look at family registration. The definition of family registration is family registration allows for people to have individual separate summer reader accounts with one login. Well again, what does that mean? Let's take a look from the patron perspective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select sign up and I'm going to sign up mom. So I'm going through the whole registration for D to the fourth power. This is going to be a registration for her program. Once I do so, it gives me the information about my username as well as password. I'm going to select OK. Now that I'm in Mom's homepage, I can now add members to her single sign-on by selecting Add Member. When I select Add Member, a box will appear and it will allow me to choose a program that I'm going to sign up daughter for. So when I select the Tiny Tots Summer Reading Program and select Continue, I'm going to the registration for the Tiny Tots program to sign up my daughter. I'm just going to type in daughter. So I go through the registration process as if I was just the daughter and it will now say daughter is registered for the program and I could select OK. Now, from mom's homepage, she can manage herself. This is her activity center. See where it says mom, mom homepage? This lets me know that I can go in, perform a log as myself, as the mom, and I can submit reviews. Now, if I wanted to submit a review or a log for my daughter, I'm going to change the drop down to daughter mom weird name, sorry. So now I'm in the daughter's homepage where mom can go in and add a log and submit a review. Everything is tied under one username and password. So if I was to log out, the only username and password that is going to work is mom's username and password. 
and then she can manage just by selecting the different drop downs. Now you're probably wondering how in the world do I set this up? Let's go over to the staff side of the summer reader program and let's take a look at system maintenance. If I go into system maintenance and I select edit program, I'm going to take a look at the program that I used for my example, D to the fourth power five. When I scroll down under registration settings, there's an area called family registration. By selecting yes, it turns on the add member feature. The next field that will appear is the maximum family members. Now I can keep this limited to maybe 10 family members to one username and password. But if you're the Duggars or if you have the Duggars living in your area, you may want to jump this up to maybe 20 or 25. Otherwise, I think most family households probably is not more than 10. The next item that you see there, or the next question is the member program exclusion. So remember when I was in the drop down when I added the member right here and I only seen Tiny Tots Summer Reader Program. But as you've seen when I went over to the staff side, I actually had multiple programs, D to the fourth power two, D to the fourth, fourth power five, so on and so forth. Why didn't I see those there? The reason is, is because under this registration settings, when I set up this particular program, I selected member program exclusion, yes. What that means is I don't want this particular program to be a part of the family registration. If you do or you don't care, you can always select no. And by selecting no, and I'm going to go ahead and save, it will now appear in that add member. So as you can see, I now have Tiny Tot Summer Reading Program and D to, D to the fourth power five. If I wanted to add a new member to this registration, I now have the option of selecting another program. Other than that, everything else is managed the same. If I go back over to the Summer Reader staff side and select the home from the toolbar, I'm going to go to D to the fourth power. I'm going to search for my members and select go. So remember the previous example was Sabrina's preschool. My second example was mom, but now I have a new icon. When I select manage members, I can now see that daughter is eligible for a prize, I can manage her registration information, I can log for her, I can add a review for her, and it gives me the other information about that member. Also, if I go over to the Tiny Tots program, and I'm just going to select go again, you're going to see that she has her own individual registration on this side. Even though I didn't know she was a family member, I could still manage her information. I could still go under her registration and update that information. I can add a log. I can submit a review. I can issue a prize. So now I can see what she's eligible for. I can also transfer her to another program if I have the administrative rights. So the functionality is very similar to just being an individual in our system. The only difference is mom will manage her account versus her having her own username and password. I hope I've explained group registration and family registration well enough so that you don't have any questions, but if you do, always feel free to contact support.